So this is a quick video on how to get a 3D zoom on a patient, right? So don't forget to click like and subscribe. So we're going to hit the 3D zoom button and it gives us these two screens. I'm moving the trackball left and right. Now, in order uh, to get just the mitral valve annulus, you uh, left click so that it goes from box position to box size. Now it's box size. If you push away from you, it makes it skinnier and pulling the ball towards you makes it larger. And then left and right allows you to change the size of the box. So usually a mitral valve annulus, if we're at a 45 degree view in a transesophageal will look something like this on the left hand screen. Now on the right hand screen, in order to uh, make that wider, the far right upper knob is the elevation width knob, and I can make that bigger or smaller. The knob next to it is called the elevation position knob. So it allows me to swing back and forth. It's very useful when acquiring the surgeon's view where you need to see some of the LVOT into the aortic valve here so that when you capture your 3D view, uh, you can put the aorta at the top at 12 o'clock and you can have your surgeon's view. So if we hit the 3D zoom button again, I'm gonna crank up, you get this wedge, right? Now, usually it kind of looks like this when you first acquire it. Now, if you roll the ball towards you, it allows you to see the mitral valve on FOSS. And then the middle upper knob, you're gonna rotate the aorta to 12 o'clock and that gives us the surgeon's view. Now, normally our left atrial appendage exists here, okay? And then we have our aortic valve up here. So this is the anterior leaflet, posterior leaflet, A1, A2, A3, P1, P2, P3. This is medial, this is lateral. And we'll use these terms, medial, lateral, anterior, posterior, to help direct our structuralist as they're doing their um, uh, mitral clip. So this is a quick kind of view on how to uh, acquire a 3D zoom image and I'll show you an actual example in another video.